though because <laughs> so listen the highlight I mean it has arrived the highlight for me is none other than Viva Franklin how are you I'm doing great I'm great so honored to be here with you thank you for having me no anytime you know I want you to think of this as an extension of your office you have so many things going on I mean you do the most right <laughs> New York best time selling author you're a producer you're yeah. out here giving all the world the nuggets of motivation that they need and a reminder to smile. Yes, you know? that is so important. It is, and you're doing it in the spirit well, of excellence. You. And as you're doing that, you're here for the 30th anniversary of Essence Festival of yeah. Culture. Yeah. You you're on the main stage, like, what's one of the highlights for you? That was, I mean, honestly, like being able to preach for the Sunday service yeah. uh, on the main stage yeah. and, you know, transform the Essence Festival of Culture yeah. to the Essence Festival of the Kingdom. Yeah. That was amazing. I, I was so honored to do it and truly blessed to be able to uh, provide a word that might have helped somebody uh, improve their life. That part, you know, and I love how much you actually engage with the audience. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like it's a personal journey. You're always doing things that's going to take you high and spiritual, but reminding the world that although you're here, you're doing the things that make us happy, but what does happiness look like? You don't let the hashtag and your attitudes define that for you, but how do you find that peace for you? Inside of all this chaos, inside yeah. of all of the glitz, the glamour, not to get lost in it, but to keep a sense of self. Yeah, you know, I have discovered that happiness, peace, is an inside job. So what has happened in my, in my you know, uh, as I've grown and developed, like a lot of times I was putting what I was getting externally as the motivator for my happiness and my peace. Like, oh, if a certain deal happened or a certain movie happened yeah. or a certain thing happened, then I'll be happy. Or then I'll be at peace. But I learned that when I do that, I allow something external to have control of what's internal. So what I really started started to practice is finding that peace and happiness within, no matter what happens without. And that has really been the key that has transformed my life. So often we can just wake up and say, "Wow, I'm alive. That's enough to be happy the entire day. I'm alive. That's enough to be peaceful the entire day." And just having that perspective and allowing that natural peace and happiness to come out. That has been the practice that has changed my life. Absolutely. And I want you to continue to spread that positivity yeah. around the world because it's important. Yeah. Especially hearing yeah. it from people who have so much pressure on them and yeah. so many eyes on them mm. to see that the light is at the end of the tunnel and they have to create that space. Wow. And thank you for all that you do. And of you. course, I have to say thank you because I submitted our interview that we did yes. last year for the podcast of the year and we clinched no. it. No. Yes, wait, three times in a row. And I said, oh, Jamal, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So wow. look, I need you to come back. And I'll, I'll come back. That greatness here, okay? Whatever you need. Say I less. Got you. Say less. I know you got more work to do, so I'm gonna let you chase the sun. I'll let the sun chase you. Wow. Amen. After it. I, I love you, and there's absolutely nothing you can do. That's right. <laughs>